welcome to my channel and in this video i am going to discuss rangas mare that is lesson number 3 which has been taken from your book snapshots all right guys so in this video first i will tell you what will i cover i will tell you the story its background and its plot and through this story uh, what the writer wants to convey the world right from the title this story seems very easy ranga's marriage and most of the students they think that they will just go through the story and they will be able to answer all the question which is going to be set by the examiner in the examination however i would like to tell you guys this is not the right way of doing right just knowing the story of the lesson it's not enough right the examiner wants something new from your pen all right he wants that you put forward new ideas so that you can get very good marks have patience this video may take long time to cover all the question that i have already told okay i have prepared one exercise for you also which i am going to share at the end of the video this exercise will contain short questions as well as long questions and at the end of the video i will also tell you the art of attempting long questions what the examiner wants that you should write in your long questions right like if the examiner get you will definitely get or you can definitely secure very good marks in your english language let's begin the story of ranga's marriage before we start the discussion i would like to tell you the main characters of the story number 1 we have the narrator named shama number 2 we have ranga around whom the entire story revolves number 3 we have ratna rama rao's niece we have some small characters also right okay uh let's begin the story ranga the accountant sir is one of the rare breed among the village folk who has been to the city to pursue his studies when he returns to his village from the city of bangalore the crowd mill around his house to see whether he has changed or not his ideas about marriage are quite different or are they right so ranga he is the son of accountant and who has been sent to city bangalore to pursue his further studies when he completed his study or when he came back to his village the entire village had come to see him whether he has changed or not all right guys and then second thing i would like to tell you about the english language at that time people started conversing in english language uh, mostly in in big cities and if we talk about the villages very few people could understand and they could converse in english language but narrator is saying that now the picture has been changed in my village also people are able to con able to speak and they are able to understand english language also then this story took place in kosahali village let's discuss something about kosahali village so that you will understand the um, geography and physical description where this story took place the kosahali is our village you must have heard of it no what a pity but it is not your fault there is no mention of it in any geography book those sahibs in england writing in english probably do not know that such a place exists so make no mention of it our own people to forget about it you know how it is they are like a flock of sheep here he has used very important phrase one sheep walks into a pit the rest blindly follow it so he wanted to say this thing if the english sahibs they had forgotten to draw my village on the map the same pattern was followed by the indians they have not given the importance to my village the indians also right the sahibs in england and our own geographers have not referred to it you cannot expect the poor cartographers to remember to put it on the map so he wanted to say that my village you cannot see on the map then he has told us about uh, the unique things of his village let's go through it 
The narrator has told many unique things of his village. The first thing he has told us that there was a doctor in their village. We have a doctor in our place. His name was Gurdabhatta. He agrees with me. He has been to quite a few places. No, not England. He has told us that though the doctor has visited many places, but he never been to England. If anyone asks him whether he has been there, he says, no one now. I have left that to you. Running around like a flea pestered dog, it's not for me. I have been or I have seen a few places in my time though as a matter of the fact that he has seen many. So there is a very beautiful phrase that has been used by the writer. A flea pestered dog means a person who roamed many places. Uh, and the narrator, uh, we can also say that this phrase he may have used for himself because being a matchmaker he also visited many places and he was also roaming here and there in the search of suitable matches all right guys uh, then he has talked about the mango trees he invites us to come and taste it once anything can be forgotten but if you have tasted it you would never forget the taste um, he has talked about the unique mangoes so he has also shared a story with us uh, let's share the story with you guys also right uh, he said once he had taken few mangoes to make chutney and on um, he said i swear the moment i had tasted the chutney and uh, the cuff I got, I rushed to doctor and it was not cured till I had taken the medicine. Then he has also talked about a special kind of creepers in his village. Well, this is a physical description of his village. Then he also wanted to uh, put the light on a very important topic that is as i have already mentioned english language he has also shared one more story few years ago uh, there were not many people in the village who could speak english our village accountant uh, was the first person who has sent his child to the city but there are many people now but there are not many people who could speak in English fluently. So he has compared two situations. Few years ago, there were not many people who could converse or communicate in English language. But now, if I'm talking about present time, there are many people in my village who could converse in English fluently. Right. And in those days, we neither spoke in English and nor we understand it. He said one day he was at Rama Rao's house when they bought a bundle of firewood. Rama Rao's son came out to pay for it and he asked a question to the women how much should i give you she answered four pesos the boy answered he did not have change i was also present there and he asked her to come next day to take her money uh, the poor woman uh, she couldn't understand what is the meaning of change she uh, went away and muttered what was changed what was changed and i was also present there to be very honest i also did not understand what is the meaning of change all right guys so english language was not widespread in my village that's why ranga's son ranga's son when he came back from bangalore everyone wanted to see right uh, whether uh, he was preferring to converse in his native language or he was just boosting his English speaking skill. When Ranga arrived at village, entire village had come to see him. Okay, I was also one of them. I stood in the courtyard and asked, why have all here come here? There is no monkey performing. Uh, when I said this thing, there was one boy and he also told me that then why did you come here if there is not any monkey show? No doubt that boy was mannerless and he was quite immature but he asked me a right question then why did I come here? Okay, then when Nanga came out everyone was happy to see him he was the same boy an old lady went near him and checked his Geneva. she announced Geneva is still there ranga laughed he has not lost his caste 
so from these uh, lines you also come to know that ranga is still indian all right then when everyone had gone i asked ranga how are you he came near me and uh, the way he did namaskara that really touched my heart and i blessed him uh, may you get married soon he then i also wanted to mention one more thing he did not do namaskara as the present day boys do uh, with head towards the sun standing stiff like a pole never bent no the way he uh, did the namaskara that's really touched me and from the core of my heart i blessed him may you get married very soon here comes the turning point right the moment i blessed him then i came to know the views of ranga about the marriage here i would like to add few things all right and i want to teach you few things and uh, draw your attention towards very important things every generation has new and innovative ideas yes, that's true right they think that they can change the world it's also truth in addition to that they like to impress the world uh, with new ideas however they have forgotten that their new idea it's a old wine in new bottle when i said this i want to say that to whom they want to amaze once they were also young with same innovative ideas i mean to say uh, the new generation they want to impress those people who were also young once right guys but the passage of with the passage of the time they gained experience which is very important ingredient of learning the world then let's come back to the story that afternoon when the narrator was resting rangappa came to his house with couple of oranges in his hand i wanted him to settle down in life so i asked him when do you plan to get married he answered he did not plan yet and wanted to find a right girl he wants to marry a mature girl he doesn't want to marry a girl who really do who really doesn't know what is marriage all right guys now i'm going to your book and i'm going to read few lines for you all right guys I need to find the right girl. I know an officer who got married only six months ago. He is about thirty-five and his wife is twenty-five. I am told they will be able to talk lovingly to each other. Let's say I marry a very young girl. She may take my words spoken in love as words spoken in anger. Recently, a troupe in Bangalore staged the play Shakuntalam. There is no question of Dushyant falling in love with Shakuntala. If she were young, like the present-day brides, is there? What would have happened to Kalidas' play? If one gets married, it should be a girl who is mature. Otherwise, one should remain a bachelor. That's why I am not marrying now. So he has also given us the reference of. Kalidas play that is Abhigyan Shakuntalam. We all know about the story of Dushyant and Shakuntala, right? Then uh, he has told us, or uh, he answered that he did not plan yet and wanted to find a right girl. He wants to marry a mature girl. A man should marry a girl whom he admires. Sham uh, Shama got disappointed. and depressed because a boy whom he thought to be a good husband decided to remain bachelor when ranga left uh, i is a narrator made a plan and firmly decided i would get this boy married by hook or by crook and he is going to do anything to get this boy married rama rao's niece ratna and she was 11 years old had come to stay with her uncle she knew how to play veena and harmonium also she was blessed with a sweet voice with the grace of god she had lost her parents and rama brought her into his house 
अगर हम यहाँ तक स्टोरी थोड़ा सा हम हिंदी में डिस्कस करें तो ये स्टोरी रंगा की है जो एक अकाउंटेंट का सन है अपने आगे की पढ़ाई के लिए वो बेंगलोर चला जाता है और लोग ही सोचते हैं कि शायद वो वहाँ पर जाकर बदल गया है उसने अपना भारतीय कल्चर सब कुछ छोड़ दिया है और वो एक ब्रिटिशर बन गया है राइट और फिर वो जब अपने विलेज में वापस आता है तो जो नरेटर है सूत्रधार है वो उस उसको मिलने जाता है और जिस तरह से वो उसको नमस्कार करता है तो जो श्यामा है राइट वो उसको आशीर्वाद देता है कि आपकी शादी जल्दी हो जाए पर वो उससे कहता है कि मैं शादी नहीं करना चाहता हूँ शादी नहीं करना चाहता हूँ का मतलब ये है कि मैं अपने से छोटी उम्र की लड़की से शादी नहीं करना चाहता हूँ मैं एक मेच्योर लड़की से शादी करना चाहता हूँ कि जो मेरी भावनाओं को समझे और उसके बाद जो श्यामा है वो बहुत ही दृढ़ निश्चय करता है कि नहीं ये एक बहुत अच्छा लड़का है और इसको एक अच्छी लड़की मिलनी चाहिए और उसके बाद इस कहानी में एंट्री होती है रत्ना की जिससे कि वो रामा की शादी करवाना चाहता है और राइट गाइज आई थिंक यहाँ तक आपको स्टोरी काफ़ी हद तक क्लियर होगी अब हम जैसे कि उसने हमें रत्ना के बारे में बताया है उसके माँ बाप मर चुके हैं और वो अपने अंकल आ, रामा के पास रहने आई है और वो बहुत ही अच्छा गाती हैं और जैसे कि वो बड़े शहर से पढ़ी लिखी है तो उसको हारमोनियम और वीणा बजाना आता है तो श्यामा ने इस लड़की को चुना है रंगा के लिए पर अगर हम दूसरी तरफ देखें रंगा को इज़ नॉट रेडी टू गेट मैरिड एंड ही प्रिफर्स टू बी बेचलर इफ ही डिड नॉट गेट अ मेच्योर गर्ल तो ये सुनकर श्याम श्यामा को बहुत दुख होता है और वो एक एक प्लान करता है ही मेक्स वन प्लान एंड ही वॉन्टेड to wanted to trap Ranga into this plan तो वो आगे कैसे चलता है चलिए अब हम आगे की story में को समझते हैं I thought she would be perfect bride for Ranga next morning I went to Ratna's house and told Rama's wife I will send buttermilk for you and ask Ratna to fetch it right so he this is this is also अ पार्ट ऑफ हिज प्लान वो रत्न के घर जाता है और रामा राव की वाइफ को बोलता है कि मैं आपको बटर मिल्क भेजूंगा जिसको कि रत्ना जो है वो फैच करेगी रत्ना के इट वॉज फ्राइडे आई आस हर टू सिंग अ सॉन्ग मीन वाई रंगा रीच एंड वॉज लिसनिंग टू द सॉन्ग ही डिड नॉट वॉन्ट शी टू स्टॉप सिंगिंग ही वॉज पीपिंग इन टू द हाउस टू सी द सिंगर विन रत्ना सो अ स्ट्रेंजर वॉज पीपिंग इन टू द हाउस शी स्टॉप सिंगिंग इमीजिएटली When both of them saw each other, Ranga felt really embarrassed, and uh, both of them they couldn't speak for a while. They uh, both of them they became quiet. Ranga inquired about the girl. He asked if he got married. The narrator answered a year ago. His face shriveled like a roasted brinjal. He went to his house back. तो जहाँ पर ये story का अगला एक बड़ा ही अच्छा turning point आता है Ranga aroused feelings for Ratna, but he did not want to show it to Shama. तो वो जब उस लड़की को देखता है he really liked the girl, right? तो and Shama again played a game with him. When he is saying that, oh my God, I'm sorry to say you that this girl got married a year ago. So, उसको बहुत दुख होता है, right? Next morning, I went to the shastri and asked him to keep everything ready to read the stars. I briefed him what I wanted him to say before. तो फिर उसके plan का दूसरा जो सीन है वो क्या है इमीडिएटली ही बैंक टू द शास्त्री द पंडित ही सेड डेट आई विल ब्रिंग अ बॉय नेम्ड रंगा टू यू एंड यू हैव टू ट्रैप दिस बॉय राइट ओके एंड एवरीथिंग हैज बीन सेटल डाउन बिटवीन द शास्त्री एंड श्यामा नेक्स्ट आफ्टरनून आई फाउंड रंगा इन डीप थॉट्स देन आई टुक हिम टू शास्त्री ही प्रिटेंडेड इन द सेम वे एज ही वॉज लास्ट आफ्टर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम ही हैड been here then uh, the shastri pretended oh my god mr sharma after such a long time you have come to meet me shastri turned to ranga and inquired when uh, when he has come from 
okay then Shastri also knew Ranga and he he inquired right uh, when did you come from Bangalore have you finished your studies the kind of basic questions were asked by the Shastri to Ranga the narrator said to take out his paraphernalia and check what had been worrying Ranga to usko batata hai ki hamara ye jo ladka hai kuch dino se kuch pareshan sa hai to agar ye pareshan hai to main bhi bahut pareshan hu isliye main aapke paas lekar aaya hu aap iski thodi si kundli dekhiye aur hame bataiye ki iske grah acche chal rahe hain ya nahi chal rahe kaun si aisi cheez hai jo is ladke ko pareshan kar rahi hai shastri asked Ranga what was his stars about which he did not know he did his calculations and told the narrator that it was about a girl shastri being a clever fellow he took the things into the same direction where the narrator wanted to take him to wo usi direction mein us baat ko le jata hai wahan jahan shyama chahta tha ki hum usi vishay par baat kare the narrator uh, wanted to laugh वो अब जब उससे पूछता है कि चलो हम कैलकुलेशंस करते हैं आपके स्टार्स देखते हैं तो नरेटर को इतनी हंसी आती है बट वो नरेटर ही जानता है कि उस समय उसने कैसे कंट्रोल किया बिकॉज प्लान थिंग्स वर गोइंग ऑन एंड द ऑथर आस्ट गर्ल तो वो शास्त्री कहता है This is one girl who is worrying this boy. Then Shastri added, the name of that girl must be something found in the ocean. So Shastri says that the name of that girl is found in the ocean. Then the narrator randomly randomly started naming few things. Uh, Kamla, uh, no, 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 it's Panchi, uh, the moose, um, maybe the pearl. Yes! Pearl means Ratna. Yes, 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 yes. I wanted to say yes. Few days ago, we went to Rama Rao's house and Ranga met uh, Ratna over there. And uh, the girl, she was very beautiful and she was a very good singer. And he wanted to inquire about, but unfortunately, we came to know she got married few years ago. Shastri ji, if we could approach the girl as I know she got married a year ago, but I told Ranga that maybe other girl, Shama, being very clever fellow. अरे ऐसा भी तो हो सकता है Shastri ji, वो कोई और रत्ना हो जिसकी शादी हो चुकी हो और ये कोई और रत्ना हो मुझे भी तो गलती लग सकती है चलो मैं दोबारा find out करता हूँ we passed by rama rao's house i went near and found it seemed she was uh, married then when we were going uh, going and when we were going back to ranga's house i passed by the house of rama rao's and then when i went very near the girl ratna was already there uh, then i found that she was not married Ranga got so much impressed by the Shastri and noted what everything that was said by the Shastri that was truth. जब शामा ने बोला, oh oh मुझसे तो गलती हो गई लड़की तो वो शादी शुदा नहीं थी तो रंगा जो बोलता है कि that Shastri ji really very talented तो उन्होंने जो जो बोला वही सच हो रहा है then he went to Shastri and told him that You have spoiled everything because you were doing overacting. फिर मैं जैसे कि आपने श्यामा का कैरेक्टर देखा होगा मतलब ये है कि जो श्यामा है वो बहुत ही क्लेवर है और वो इस तरह से स्टोरी को बना रहा है एंड ही इज ऑल्सो सेंग शास्त्री वेन ही इज अबाउट टू पे मनी टू द शास्त्री He started be fooling the Shastri also. अरे आपने तो इतना ओवर एक्टिंग किया कि रंगा को शक हो गया एंड ही सेट नो आई सेट द सेम थिंग्स वुड यू वॉन्टेड मी टू से देन वी रंगा फा केम टू माई हाउस राइट एंड इन्वाइटेड मी फॉर डिनर आई आस्ट द ओकेजन ही आंसर इट वॉज हिज सन श्यामस बर्थडे एंड आई आस्ट हर वाई डिड ही चूज This name for his son, I went there and gifted a ring to the child. तो इस यहाँ पर story का end आ जाता है when he is saying that after few years, 
uh, Ramzan came to me and he invited me on his son's birthday. So I asked him, why did he name Shama? He said that it was you who brought the change in my life. It was you who changed my views about marriage. Uh, maybe at that time, if you were not there, I really did not get such a beautiful and such a mature girl like Ratna. Shayad mujhe itni achhi ladki kabhi nahi milti. It was only because of you I am happily settled in my life. So that is why um, I am blessed when I am blessed with a son I named uh, I named Shama. Right. So he got so happy because he wanted to say that the marriage which was settled by him has been proved to be a happy marriage. That's every matchmaker wants. Jab bhi aap kisi ki shaati ko settle down karwana chate, you also you always wanted that that it should be a happy marriage. And no doubt, Ranga's marriage was a or was a happy married life, right? So at the end of this video, now. In the end, I would like to tell you a few things. First, in this story, uh, we come to know about Indian villages, the discrimination, right? Uh, because when he said that if English sahibs, they had forgotten, right? Same was done by the Indians also. Life of the villages. Third thing, he want us to focus on the Indian culture. We should not forget our old values, right? New values we should learn, but not at the cost of our old values. The third thing is that is mentioned in this story that new ideas versus old ideas, right? And uh, innovation versus experience. We all know that every generation has come with new ideas, right? But one thing, what they learn that with the passage of the time experience experience is very important because new ideas right if we, if we talk about the new ideas uh, the young generation they do not know the result of that thing experience knows the result of that thing too that's why experience always have always has an upper hand then foresightedness doordarshita जो कि सिर्फ हमारे बुजुर्ग हमें बता सकते हैं राइट एंड हैप्पी एंडिंग एंड दिस स्टोरी एंडेड एट अ हैप्पी नोट दैट्स एवरीवन वांट्स दैट हिज लाइफ एंड्स एट अ हैप्पी नोट सो दैट्स रंगास मैरिज सो जब हमने इस स्टोरी को डिस्कस किया तो आपको लगा होगा कि ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ रंगा की शादी के लिए है रंगा की शादी के लिए नहीं है ये आपको ये बताना चाहता है यहाँ पर राइटर आपको ये बताना चाहता है कि जो शादी है वो तो हमारे इंडियन कल्चर में कितना महत्वपूर्ण स्थान रखती है और राइट गाइज सो दैट्स द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी फाइनली वी हैव रीच द एंड अ हैप्पी नोट ओके सो देर इज वन सरप्राइज एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रोमिस यू इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द वीडियो देर इज वन एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू डू द एक्सरसाइज any problem doing that exercise or at any moment you do not understand the question feel free to post the message in the comment box thank you guys and um, as i have already told you don't forget to subscribe my channel and do like my video and press the bell icon thank you and bye bye till now